lot this is Julie Saws her on cloths welcome to my channel today I would like to share a very quick vlog on what I've made this week I have a really busy week and very little time and I think I take most of the time to do the editing so I need to make sure that I give myself enough time to do that before I go away for a little mini break Today I have the Friday Pattern Company Bernadette skirt. So the Bernadette skirt is a pleated knee length. Well, actually it's a mini, but it's knee length on me because I lengthened it. It's a knee length skirt, side zip, which is invisible. And it has a fabric belt with a purse that hangs from the belt. I'm going to show you some photographs of uh, the little belt here. I haven't got it on the uh, Annie the Manny at the moment. Uh, I've got it in front of me. Actually, I'll show it to you. I made the skirt in a rather thick corduroy, which I think looks really nice. It feels really nice. Uh, but it did kind of cause me a few problems with... The thickness, uh, the loops that I made, I had to hand turn the wheel to get the needle through those loops onto the skirt and the facing. So that's something like seven, eight layers it was having to penetrate. And I was a bit concerned about breaking a lot of needles, so I really took my time with that. Uh, and it did work out quite nicely. What I did have a problem with was inserting the zip onto the little purse because I actually forgot to take my time and I just sawed it through the way I always do. And as I was sewing the belt loop, uh, the purse loops and the zipper and the back of the purse, I a needle and it jumped out and yeah it almost caused a bit of an incident so lesson learned take your time when you're sewing and make sure that you're um, sewing at the appropriate speed for whatever fabric is under the needle I really like the little purse it's got a front pocket I'm just waiting for my metal snaps to arrive so I can fix that onto the front and it has the little zipper section with um, a nice little lining oh the light is a bit odd because we've got the dodgiest weather here at the moment um, so that is an ideal size actually for my credit card and my keys if I was literally just popping out it could just sit on the belt however I must say I'm not sure I will wear it on the belt it feels quite young for me in style but I do really like it I think potentially I might next time I uh, make this I think I will make it with a side loop that goes over your wrist because it's such a handy little purse and I think you can make it in so many different fabrics I think it also make a really lovely little gift when we start thinking about all our Christmas handmade gifts. Lovely little addition that comes with the skirt. I made the skirt in a size large based on the measurements on the pattern. Um, I have to say I probably would I probably would so this again in a softer fabric or maybe a less thick fabric i've got some nice denim that is much thinner than the corduroy i think i'll try and make it in that and i would make it in a size medium because there's enough room more than enough room on the waistline for me to bring that down so i made myself a t-shirt I didn't use a t-shirt pattern. I'll show you what I did actually. 
I used the New Look 6217. It's a very, very popular, simple saw. This is designed for woven, but I think if I can show you the, uh, can I, yeah, if I can show you the line drawing, it literally has three pieces and it has a opening at the back with a little button. I, because I made it in a knit fabric, I decided to cut the back pattern on the fold and eliminated the seam allowance. So it literally is t-shirt style, front and back, grow, little grown on sleeves. That is it, two pieces of fabric sewn together. The instructions require a turnover twice and a stitch down on the neckline and the, um, and the sleeve. It was fine on the sleeve. I literally just increased the stitch length a little bit and I used a Maraflex thread, which has a little bit of stretch in it. But it didn't really work very well on the neckline. It kind of went a little bit wavy in places. So I undid the stitching on that and I literally just made a cut a strip of the same fabric as the, the rest of the garment and I put a collar, a, a neck um, band on. And for that, I literally just measured the neck all the way around. And then I used a method that I think saw Hayley Jane put in one of her um, vlogs a little while ago, which just works out perfect for me. And I'll share that with you. The best method to make sure that the neckline sits nice and flat is to completely do the measure, add on your seam allowance to that measurement and then times by 0.85%. And then that give me the length for the strip of fabric for the neck band and it sits lovely and flat so that works really well for me i would imagine that fabrics with more or less stretch may need a little bit of alteration on that on that um method but it work it's worked fine for me i've done it on a few t-shirts where i've added a bit more scoop into the neckline or if i've made the neckline higher than the pattern and it just allows you then to make sure that you adjust the collar band to match uh, the changes that you've made. So that worked out really well. I think they go quite nicely together um, and I'm definitely gonna give it a try this weekend. It looks like the weather is gonna improve and we have a very short mini break to the seaside in Kent. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, definitely the Bernadette skirt and the T-shirt uh, will be coming with me. The only other items that I've sewed this week are literally, yeah, you guessed, it's the knickers. I made a pair from some scraps that has literally been sitting in my cupboard for over a year now. This is a really nice, bald, patterned, cotton lycra. So yeah, I thought use that up, get it out of the get it out of the stash. So I've got um less scraps in my stash and made myself another pair of knickers. A lot of people have asked about these. We will be doing a little tutorial on it. I think for me there are a couple of things if you want to give this a go. These are the Evie La Love Maxine pants, they're a free pattern. Uh, you can find Evie on Instagram and she's also got uh, video vlogs, tutorials on how to sew up all the different styles of knickers and bralettes that, that she designs. And there's some really fantastic designs in there. 
I think when, what I really like about it is the burrito method for the making sure that the seams are all hidden and not against your body on the crotch, which makes it much more comfortable. And I think something that I really think is useful if you're not familiar with using fold over elastic one tip that i would give is to i don't know if you can see this but i use the three step zigzag stitch now the reason for that is the fabric moves about the elastic you have to keep taut so it's it's quite a tricky technique if you've not done it before and I find the three step zigzag stitch, just make sure you, you pick up all the fabric layers and the elastic. If you miss it on one, you'll catch it on the other two. Uh, and it just, it's nice and neat and I think it looks really pretty. Um, so yeah, I made myself some very funky knickers and I'm pretty certain you won't be able to purchase them in Marks and Spencers. So fabric wise, I have had one delivery this week of new fabric. Uh, I am expecting my Sohia Legion subscription box today. I'm looking out the window thinking, is that is that the postie? But it wasn't. Um, it's way too early for the postie. She never comes this time. So, But I am expecting it to arrive. So I will have some new fabric um, there to share with you. But I did purchase a lovely it um it's a viscose spandex jersey x designer jersey and this is from thirst for fabrics i just think i don't know if i've got that upside down yet why do we always do that it's a wonderful large patterned fuchsia flowers and leaves in these beautiful poppy pinks love it now I, when I purchased this I wasn't really I didn't have a pattern in mind um I, I guess I'll wait and see what comes in the so Healy Jen subscription box because there's always every month there is a pattern in there and I Initially found I was just stashing them up. Um, the odd one I made up rather quickly. But I've got much more confident now in my abilities to try different techniques and, and not be afraid of giving something a go for the first time. So maybe there might be something in there that could potentially match. I'll wait and see when that arrives. Otherwise, I have been thinking about the Kilo wrap dress. That has got some absolutely gorgeous makes on the Instagram hashtag and I, it keeps catching my eye and I keep thinking, oh yeah, that's a really nice dress and would be lovely actually for that transition into the autumn months. And today I'm wearing the Wilder gown. It's another Friday Pattern Company design. I seem to have more of that designer in my pattern stash than any other. I just love how simple and nice Chelsea's designs are. And I also really love the fact that everything that is released is followed up with a tutorial, which for visual learners is just so useful especially if you're quite new in your sewing journey. Uh, yeah, so I really love them. The Wild Again is a raglan sleeved top. It's a gathered collar, which fastens here at the top. And it has a very loose fitting gathered skirt to it that drops from just below the bust. I'll put a couple of photographs in so you can see it in its full length. The Wild Gown does come in a maxi style with, I think, three tiers 
to the skirting uh, I made it in two tiers so it's a uh, how it comes to I was well below my knee I made this last year probably round about this time last year so I didn't get uh, a huge amount of wear out of it it's been sitting in my wardrobe waiting for a return the fabric is from Lady McElroy I've got the, the largest number of meterage of Lady McElroy fabrics than any other in my stash I can't remember exactly the makeup of the fabric but it is a lovely soft woven with a I don't know if you caught that but it's got ladies in the lake you can just see them about to have a dip in the lake and I'm not sure that the camera is picking up just how vibrant these colours are it's a very pretty fabric and I really love greens the greens are my favourite colours really so yeah that's what I'm wearing today the wild again from the Friday pattern company it's now lunchtime and it's been a busy morning at work and I've literally just popped up to the house and noticed that my Sawhilly Jen box arrived. So I am going to do a live unboxing. It's the first time I've done that, so I'm really excited. It's probably the heaviest subscription box that I've had so far. I did notice this morning that Adele from Saw 4 Serenity has already posted her unboxing for this month and I resisted. I normally can't wait to click that button and see uh, her reaction to receiving her box, but I resisted because I really wanna see it for the first time uh, when I share it with you. So here goes, here's how it arrives. I'll put some information about or I'll try and link to uh, Haley's website so you can find out for yourself what the boxes the subscription boxes are like um I think it's upside down actually let me just turn it oh I've opened it upside down oh so I'll try not to be too noisy because I know that gets on my nerves but the first thing that fell out is a little bag of marshmallows and they nice nice little treat after lunch and oh soft girl summer so this is issue number 57 and the little news booklet that comes with each um each box is just full of brilliant ideas, interviews. I'm not going to go through the whole booklet with you. I'm going to read it over a cup of tea with my lunch. Um, but it's just, oh, Adele's on, oh, Adele's on there. I'm going to read, I'm going to have a look through this over my lunch break. I haven't got long, so I won't go through that with you but I will see what else is in here nutmeg and arlo the home of super cute pins washi and oh it's washi where's the camera that's really cute um oh, I've got a little bag or something in that's in the bag ah buttons tiny little pretty buttons there now all over the all over the sewing room i'm not sure if you can see that there's a really cute little pearlescent type button um i've got two four six in front of me but i'm sure there's some others kicking about the room now so i'll collect them afterwards the oh The fat quarts, so for the luxury box, we get five fat quarters and I know they're going to re be replaced soon with a 
length of fabric instead of these i've got i don't know if you can i don't think you can see them but over there i've got a huge stack of these and i will one day make a quilt with all of them um that i can put out on the garden is like a picnic blanket but i have never got round to even starting it so the fat quarters are pretty pastel colors there's the first one Oh my God, I can see the fabric. You can see the fabric. I didn't do that very well, did I? There is the second one. And then we've got some spots and dots. Lovely, lovely green colour. And then in the pink colour wear, there's another one. Might make a little bucket hat with the dotty ones. Oh, there's three dotty ones. Definitely going to make a little bucket hat with them. The cotton is this gorgeous dusky blue and I can't hide the fabric because you've seen it already but it is absolutely stunning. Oh it's heavy, it's really heavy. What is it? Is it woven? Is it stretch? It looks like... Oh it's a woven fabric. It looks like a linen type. Oh, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. Actually, it will say in the book what it is. So I'll just refer back to that and see what it is so I can tell you. Where is it? Luxury box. It's 3.5 meters of Lady McElroy Cruise, which is a linen chambre in a blueberry colour, 100% linen. That is absolutely gorgeous. I was thinking about potentially, oh, making myself a linen kind of jumpsuit. Oh, that would be glorious, wouldn't it? Love it. Oh, a little, I don't know. I don't know, I have to think about that. And the pattern, oh my word. This is the Avid Seamstress. I've got a couple of patterns from the Avid Seamstress. I've got a dress with lovely big pockets and a zip right through the back. And I've also got the culottes. I've made the dress. I haven't made the culottes yet. But this, I'm pretty sure, is the latest pattern drop from the Avid Seamstress. And it is a jumpsuit and a dress. And it pretty much is size inclusive because if you look at the front, we've got a lovely plus size model. Oh, it looks amazing. Wow, it looks amazing. I'm just going to show you the back of the pack. Look at the front lines on the bodice. Oh, I don't know if I want to make the jumpsuit or the dress first. They are just both really gorgeous size wise it comes in a UK size 6 through to a size 26 which is a bust measurement of 32 to 54 waist 24 to 47 and hip 34 to 56 and the meterage to make it up in my size which would be somewhere between the 6 and the 14 I'll have to have a look at the the actual measurements is wow 4.8 for the trousers and 3.5 or 2.5 for the dress wow those That jumpsuit is seriously fabric hungry, um, but I am delighted with that. And this fabric, oh my word, that is gorgeous. Look at the colour of that. That's beautiful. Looks very similar to some denim that I've got in my cupboard. So yes, that will be in my thought process for the rest of the day, wondering what to make with it. Any suggestions? Pop your comments in the box 
below. I love hearing from you and really love replying to all of your comments. And that is the unboxing. I'm going to have my marshmallows with a cup of tea and have a read through my um, my August magazine. I think it's uh, going to be a happy lunch in the sunshine for me to dear. If you have enjoyed the content of my uh, video, would you please consider hitting that like button? And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you considered subscribing to my channel. It just really helps new vloggers like myself to grow our channel and our network. And I am super delighted with all of you who have joined my little channel and been subscribers already i'm really chuffed with that so thank you so much and i look forward to seeing you again very soon take care bye